welcome to David Does Do More Send Lawyers to Hell, I'm not really sure which anymore. Uh, you find yourself staring at what you might think at first glance is the opening area of Mapu One of Entryway, but it isn't. Uh, this is Path to Hell Episode 1 by Jean Tam. Uh, he's a newcomer to the forums and it's his first wand. And I love doing beginner wands because, as I've said before, they're quite easy and they're quite short. <laughs> Uh, which are both major wins for me. Uh, so I'll go through this just commenting on uh, what I like, what I think could be improved, things to think about. Please don't take any of my commentary as harsh, because um, I, I had someone say, wow, you really laid into that one, uh, you know, when I started doing this. And I don't want I don't want to be seen like that. I just want to uh, help people make uh, good wads and just point out the things that could be improved. Um, for example, um, this switch, a couple of things about this switch First, that it's lit. Uh, it's an SW2 type texture, and you switch it, and it's unlit. Uh, the second, uh, now that you mention it, is that it's repeatable, uh, which it doesn't really need to be, and it can be misleading, thinking that the player can think that is there something else to do with the switch, and uh, there isn't. Um, yeah, using SW2 textures means that the player can't tell which switches they've pressed and which they haven't. It's better to be consistent throughout a ward. Sometimes in context, if, you, if you've got scripting, there's something on that you want to turn off or something. Uh, but usually in vanilla style maps like this, it's better to use SW1 textures. Uh, the other thing, uh, the third thing of two that I was going to mention, uh, was the the uh, door jams. Uh, what are these bits of a door called? I don't know. Um, they seemed to scroll up as the door opened. Uh, you could see that a while ago when I first pressed the switch. Uh, and you can fix that by setting lower unpegged on each of these walls uh, underneath the door. Uh, what that means is that Doom will draw the texture from the bottom up rather than the top down, uh, so the texture won't follow the wall as it goes up. Uh, clear as mud? Good. <laughs> uh, you'll, try it, you'll get it when you see it. Um, it's a, it's a nice way to make doors uh, door tracks look like they're not following the door. But then, sometimes you want that to happen. Okay, this is now locked with the yellow key. This is now a switch. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm doing this... Oh, that didn't even move. What did that do? So, um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure what was what was wrong with the definition there, but this switch for some reason didn't change when I switched it? Not sure. But what did it do? Uh, judging by my observations, very little. Oh, that's a secret. Yep, there it is. Wouldn't get this normally. Worried about what that did. Um, is there another another corridor that's opened up down there that I didn't notice? Aha! Uh -huh. All right. Now I think that imp was stuck in the wall uh, when he first uh, noticed me, which meant that uh, he couldn't uh, he couldn't do anything. Yeah, th that one as well. He's 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 inert. Oh no, no, no maybe he got free. Um, but be careful that your things aren't stuck in walls because that can happen. Oh, this is nice. You know, this is a this is an alternative take on uh, Mapu One, where we've got the ledge up here, where I wouldn't normally be. Got a little barred window looking out onto the changed courtyard. Yeah, um, you know, when I read that this uh, the first map was just a remake of Mapu One, uh, I I was going to suggest, you know, it's okay, but I would get rid of this if for a real release. It's fine to alter the IWOD maps uh, <coughs> for your own personal practice. And this is still a bit near to the original Mapu 1, honestly. You can tell that it's just been built on top of the original, but uh, there are some interesting additions. So, uh, watch your texture alignment there. You probably actually want the door track like you've got on the other side. Um. <coughs> oh, that's a trap there. That's interesting. That's something unexpected. Um, yeah, you might have noticed by now, but that my weapons are packing a bit more of a punch than normal, and uh, that's because I'm running this with uh, BD Lite, uh, version 1.2, which I released uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And uh, BD Lite's my own uh, kind of Doom environment thing. Hmm. Is that...? What did that do? I'll start again. Uh, BD Lite is my own um, Doom platform 
extension weapons monsters pack that's uh, it's based on Brutal Doom, but it's uh, kind of got quite far away from it now. The, the two have diverged, uh, whereas I want to keep Beady Light very simple, uh, as in its name, but uh, still keep all the flashy effects and everything. And uh, Brutal Doom has evolved away from... Uh, I'm just looking at the switch. I wonder how that's possible, because... Maybe the SW2 switch doesn't have an S uh, a change to SW1 definition in it, but uh, I, I thought it did. Yeah, um, this doesn't really look like a lift all that much. It's it's uh, more traditional to use support 2 or support 3 for platforms the player can manipulate. Sometimes you want it to be a little bit hard to see if it's a secret, but uh, I would probably stick to plat 1 or support 2 or support 3 there. Yeah, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd show uh, BD Light off with this. Uh, it does affect the balance quite a lot, uh, as you've no doubt noticed. But uh, I thought it, it might not be, it might not be such an issue here. All my save games are now called Rudy for an in joke that originated in some private videos. Um, so there's the yellow key that closes that. It raises this platform. Did it do that before? I don't think it did. I don't know why. Maybe I went over a slightly different line def. Uh, so what do I do now? I've got the yellow key. Oh, but I can't get out. Hmm. So there are plenty of monsters around. I can hear them. Can't find a way to get to them. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have to resort to doing this, really. Is there something I can press or switch? Because I, I thought I heard a... Yeah, I, th I thought I heard something switching here before. Maybe I didn't. Now, what, what was that? That was nothing. And I'm... Oh, is it the door up there? Is it something... Am I opening that? I can't. I'm not opening a door on the other side of that. What about here? What is happening? What do I do? Why is that opening? Do I'll see this. If I, even if I have to open it up in the editor, I will see what, what happens. I'm going to open it up in the editor. All right. Brief pause. We are going to look at, uh, what's it called? Path to Hell, episode one. We're going to... Open the, uh, let's open this up and use a Doom Builder bug fix, uh, which is now called Ultimate Doom Builder, by the way. I haven't upgraded it on this machine yet, but uh, it's finally got a name. It's uh, Ultimate Doom Builder, meaning that I have to change all my videos now that I've done for tutorials. Um... Okay, let's uh, add a resource from world file. Uh, sorry about all this, by the way. Um, we're going to go to games, GZ Doom. Uh, there's Doom 2.wad, okay. All right, let's have a look at this. What do all these lines and switches do? So, okay, so the line that uh, you cross over to get the yellow key lowers all the walls around you, the uh, steel uh, walls that around. Um, there is a switch to get rid of them. But how do I how do I actually get out, I wonder? Well, tag 7 is the tag over... What is going on here? Um, tag, tag 7... Hang on, let, I'll, I'll, I'll let you see this, actually. Um, just so you can see my uh, complete thinking. Let's uh, look at window capture. Uh, that's captain a specific window builder.exe, this one, okay, and we're going to, all right, I'm going to 
make that visible. OK, let's uh, resize this a bit. This is an unconventional video, isn't it? Right, there we go. All right. So, um, like I was saying, uh, this wall is going to lower because of these line actions around there, and all of those are going to floor raise to the lower ceiling. Um, that's also affected by this switch here, which is floor lower to lowest floor, and that's going to let me out again. So I'm going to have to find a way... I'm going to have to find a way out of here. But uh, do any of them... Hmm... Oh, what? what is this? What's going on here? GR, door open, stay. What's GR? Th that's, uh, gunfire, repeat, door... I have to shoot the pipe to open the door. Oh, okay. I, th I think I've got it. Let's, uh, let's, uh, have a look to see if I'm right. Uh, let's, uh, undo that window capture. And we'll go back to Doom. All right. So, this unremarkable pipe... Yes, okay. Ah, uh, you want that to be far more obvious. Because, uh, you know, in um, in Vanilla Doom there's nothing like that. You never shoot a pipe to open a door. Uh, you could give it a target-like texture. You'd have to uh, put some custom textures in and everything. Um, or just make it glowing red or something. Or, uh, one of my favourites, at the very start of the map, trap the player in a room with a pipe like that, with its glowy bits and get them to shoot it to go anywhere. Beat the player over the head with new mechanics. I think that's a very good... Uh, <laughs> that's a very good map rule. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on my own mapping rules. But yeah, uh, as it is just now, there's no way that the player would ever think to shoot that. Uh, but I'm glad I worked it out. Uh, we've uh, got into the outdoor area that Mapper one had before. All right. So this has been expanded a bit. It's got a bit of a attempt at hill, which is nice. Some dead trees. Okay, so this switch opens up the room again and lets me escape. This switch? What does this do? Oh, that just lets me back into the building. Okay. And, um... You know, I couldn't help noticing on the map that this... Is that also a switch? I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I don't. I don't think it's good. I'm. I'm sorry to say it, but but it is interesting that uh, uh, I did notice in the editor as well when I was scrolling around that that shooting that lightning switch raises the bridge. I I think there's some really good ideas here, but I I don't think they they work with just the Doom 2 standard texture set. I would I would replace things with things that look more like targets or, or shootable switches uh, to be clear that uh, that's how you get the walkway up. Oh, all right, yellow door. Familiar yet again. All right, that's that room cleared. What do these... Oh, we've got four switches instead of two. We have doubled our switch capacity. That does the... Whoa, okay. It does almost the same thing as before. But it uh, releases some shotgun as well. How about you? That releases something in the distance. Ah. You probably want those imps facing the other way so that they actually attack you. It's a bit of an easy encounter if they're all facing away. And again, you probably don't want that switch to be repeatable. That one... does nothing. <laughs> that one does nothing. Apparently. Oh, I hear something now, actually. Whoa! Okay, I wish they'd done nothing. Oh, but the chain gunners were... Uh, trapped up there under those pillars. That's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting surprise. Ah, a secret. Oh, it wasn't marked as a secret secret, but it is a secret. Um, that one's marked as a secret. It's 
plenty, a wealth of secrets here. Um, and this was the other door that I, I missed this time round. Okay. So now... Whoa! 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 Again, that was actually a, a good surprise. Releasing, releasing this horde of enemies. Absolute chest of drawers full of shotgunners. Uh, just when I thought I completed the map. Um, so let's open up that. Uh, you could make those bars the same sector, um, just to prevent the player having to open both of them. But it's a very minor thing. Alright, this must be the end. It is. Alright, so that map took me on a bit of a journey, honestly. I, I at first thought it was just going to be a practice map, a remake of uh, Map 01 for, uh, for uh, practice, but... It actually, it actually had some good ideas, it had some not so good ideas as well, but I think they could be transformed into good ideas. Um, I also, I also think that it should probably be a bit more removed from Map 01 if you want to replay, if you want to actually release this to, uh, publicly. Because, uh, oh, it's one of these! It's one of these! Oh, you continue right through, that's great, I love that. Um, yeah, I think, I think you should remove a bit further from Map 01, honestly. Or just keep as a practice. And use the ideas that you've got in a completely original map instead. So underhauls are a, a set of mines, it looks like. We've got mid-texture use. But, whoa! You've got doors opening behind you to ambush. This is stuffed full of enemies. Like a Domino's pinky-filled crust. I I don't know what I'm talking about, but it is quite late at night. Um. Oh. Oh, I saw you. I saw a flaming lost soul. Maybe I didn't. Okay. Oh, maybe it was just that fireball. No, that's one of my. Uh, that's one of my favourite additions from this uh, mod, actually. I didn't think of it myself, uh, this was inherited. But the, the chain gunners now have a little spin-up time, so that you're not utterly wrecked without warning. Yeah, I think I think this is going pretty well so far. I, there could be a bit more height variation. You've, you've done something interesting here. Uh, you could have a bit more, you know, changes in the ceiling or textures uh, when you're going around the corridors of the mines. Uh, looks like a red door there. And another red door here. Oh, excuse me. Um, when you change ceilings or floors, you usually want to change the height as well, so it doesn't look like there's this really obvious seam. Um, you could instead use textures that look like seams, like support two or support three, or, or one of the Sean textures to uh, to give yourself a border. Uh, wood that would work as well. Um, What are these meant to be? Little, little, little boats? Little pillars? Oh yeah, uh, BD Light uh, introduces reloading to the weapons. Uh, it kind of balances so that the weapons are a lot more uh, heavy, a lot more dangerous now. Can't open that door. Um, with the fact that you have to reload. I, I hated that at first, I'll be honest with you. But uh, then I realised that it gave you this uh, element of vulnerability. Uh, that you have to you have to watch your ammunition count, and then I decided I liked it. Um, okay, there was uh, that door back there as well, um, and the one in the very start, the very start of Map One. Um, they look like doors you can open even though you can't, and uh, that's sometimes annoying if you have to explore to find out which doors you can open and you can't. Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, but I know exactly why you did that. It's because uh, the the vanilla switch types likely don't do what you want them to do. Uh, be consistent as well with your switches and uh, use SW1 textures uh, to avoid confusing the player. Because um, the original Doom, vanilla Doom, has very limited switch types. You can't just say, okay, this thing is uh, locked by blue and it's going to lower this to 32, uh, 32 pixels. Um, so you have to get around it with tricks like that. 
The, the switch is hidden behind a door, and the door is what uh, does the uh, does the gating, the locking of the door. This is a bit Wolfenstein here, uh, with your cells. Again, they could they could do with a bit more decoration. Put some bars between them, maybe some connected. <laughs> it's not a hotel. Uh, you know, give give you a duplex cell with uh, Violent John and uh, James Slaughter. All right, oh, we've got some cells here. Actually, it's quite generous with cells. Um. Bullets is really high as well, but it might be BD Light doing that, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, okay, so I finally got the blue keycard. Uh, also, here, 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 you could you could make this much more interesting by not having the player have to backtrack through here. Uh, and it's a kind of dead corridor, because I've done everything there is to do here. Uh, you could release some more enemies, like you did in Map 01, or make the player take an alternative route back and not have them go through the same thing. Um, Alright, what am I doing? Uh... There's the red, the blue, the blue key, yeah. The, oh no, that's, that's, sorry. I'll get it, I'll get it. Uh, that one, okay, so, and that is again a shell around the real switch, uh, which won't be blue key locked. I can, I might be able to even uh, take, what's it called, smooth blue card? Take blue card. Yeah, it's not actually locked by the blue card, because you can't have a locked switch. Alright, uh, blue key's restored, just in case I need it again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, that was a room full of enemies. But as you can see, it was quite trivial to deal with them, because they were all in front of me. There were no other threats uh, coming out from the sides. If you, if you wanted that to be really difficult, when you opened the door, you could also open this and this and have enemies... Uh, you know, it's just some pinkies to harass you here and push you into the room. Um, so you can't just run away and fire at them from the entrance. And yeah, again, I'm using more powerful weapons, but I, I suspect that would have been uh, equally easy with... Uh, uh, with non-powerful weapons. Okay, we're heading into the Blood Waterfall, but let's have a look for these secrets. Are there any obvious things that I've missed? Mm. Let's see. So, I, I went up here, didn't I? Yeah, this is how I first entered the room. But I didn't see any uh, switches that I missed or anything. Okay. This, this door... Oh, actually, that's not a door, is it? That's just a solid line. Uh, yeah. yeah. It can be tricky to use doors for decoration like that. Usually there's the door... What is it? The door 2 texture? I don't know. The small one that uh, you usually come out of in a Doom 1 map that's not usually openable. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's confusing to the player when you... when things that aren't doors look like doors, or vice versa. Alright, we've finished the underhalls. Uh, the gauntlet... Oh, God almighty! Yep, I'm gonna need that. Because there are hit scanners just everywhere here. This is not the correct approach to this map. I'm, I'm actually gonna reload. Uh, I can get a rocket launcher, but uh, I don't want to. I don't think that's the right way to do this now. Wow, that was uh, somebody not aiming correctly. <laughs> so the thing about hit scanners is they can get you from anywhere and they're really difficult to dodge. There aren't any true hit scanners in BD Light. Uh, the, you know, they, they fire these really fast projectile tracer things, but still, you can see how hard it is to to dodge and to and to fight them. I suspect that would be incredibly annoying in, in the uh, in vanilla Doom. 
What you can do to fix it is just give the player some cover. Give him, give him some big walls. Let him hide behind things. Uh, don't just leave him out in the open with nothing. Let's see. Use my rifle. Another thing I did in BD Light 1.2 was I, I removed the auto aim. Uh, I removed the no auto aim flag, rather. So it's now possible to auto aim. You can see I'm still hitting that demon. Um, and uh, I did that uh, to stop discriminating against keyboard players, because there was no reason not to allow auto aim, but now it just really annoys me <laughs> that everything auto aims. Uh, so I can't win. Um. Oh, sorry. I was I was so busy with my weapons. Okay, let's hop across here. Right, where are those revenants? Oh, they're all the way over there. Ah, uh, yeah. You want to peg those doors as well, or unpeg them, or whatever you know. Whatever I'm talking about. Heavily defended key, but again, you know, you can stand at the entrance, and it's just really uh, a question of how much ammunition you use. If you wanted to be really cruel, um, you could make those only appear, you know, you could rise them out of pillars once you've collected the key and have to run out. That would be an ambush and a half. But I, you'd probably want to give the player a bit more room to move around if you were to do that. Plasma gun! Okay, there he goes, and a shower of bones. I really like that effect. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, that was overkill. So now that I've got the blue key, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got the blue key. Got through the blue door. I've got the red key. That was what, I'm, that was what I meant to say. Um, where do I go with that? Let's have a look. I cannot identify where I need to go with that. Let's just top up my armor. The more helmets you wear, the better protected you are. Hmm. I suppose I'll strive out across the uh, blood. Ah. Okay. I don't really want to be wandering around carrying this. Oh, that was a surprise. Didn't look like an exit. Uh, but I did, I, I suppose it was a good place to end the map as any. Uh, I didn't see any evidence of having to use the red key, so uh, there might have been a red key door that wasn't marked, and uh, I think you do need to provide cover, but uh, you're experimenting with an outside map, uh, so that's okay. Alright, we are past the gantlet and into the focus. Um, oh, that sounded a bit ruder than I intended, <laughs> sorry. Um, oh, there's a load of marines standing around having a chat. Alright. Okay, I've ne by now I've collected enough uh, rapid-fire weapons to dispatch the small soldiers quite easily. Small soldiers! That was a film from the uh, 90s, wasn't it? My dad used to love that, even though it was dreadful. Oh. Wait, no, my, my dad has this uh, weird passion for really bad films. Uh, when traveling, you know, international on business to a big conference, he'll he'll watch Mortal Kombat on the plane. Uh, it's great. Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, okay. I'm just trying to maneuver way, my way up these crates, see if there's a secret that I'm meant to be finding. No, there's, there's a key. Great. I mean, and, and you can see that, you know, you're getting bothered with decorating rooms uh, as you go on. There's, um, you know, all these pillars, all these crates. It's a little bit of a crate maze. You've got places to hide, places to uh, weed shotgunners out of. This room's kind of similar. Well, I'd, I'd go far as to say it's almost exactly the same. Oh, wow, that's a generous amount. Oh, the BFG! Just like lying out in the open like that. Okay. Alright. I, I don't think it'd be fair to use it. But yeah, this is uh, this is getting better. And these... Uh, I, I like this texture. Uh, the tech wall... What's it called? Tech brown? Um... And I, I use that myself for every instance where there's a there's a thing that should look like a door, but it shouldn't be uh, flagged as an openable door. Oh, well, you see, you have to be careful when you you have to be careful if you're reloading here. Imp is uh, making sure nobody steals the switch. Yeah, it it can be it can be sort of. Uh, Visual storytelling, I suppose, to have enemies facing away from you at consoles, at computers, but it does make them very easy to pick off, and uh, they can be used as sitting ducks to get the player to shoot, uh, which kind of happened. Uh, kind of happened in that room. There was a shotgun there, but uh, he was around the corner hidden, and he couldn't really do anything about it. You're being incredibly generous with the uh, cell ammunition. Much more than you need to be. I mean, it's not really a complaint, so much as a, I, I, I just want you to be aware that you're doing this. Because uh, if you can just use the plasma gun all the time, um, or the BFG all the time, then uh, the, the, the player's going to think this is a bit easy. Even more easy than my own maps. Oh, Christ. Right as I said it. With a, with a BFG, they're just a beef gate. All right. There we go. That's a uh, that's a good ambush. You've released monsters on the other side of the map. You've uh, you've made the player. Now oh, that wasn't a secret. Uh, you've made the player uh, have to stand their guard against monsters they weren't expecting. Uh, where am I now? Okay. Oh God. Right, that took care of them very quickly. Um, is this a good place to use arch files? Yeah, it's got corners. You could you can hide around with them. It's it's a bit of a surprise. Okay, that was the yellow key, was it? Uh, which is here. Whoa! Another of the things in John Romero's uh, guide to mapping is that uh, avoid symmetry where possible, unless it's an important room, because the player remembers symmetry more, and it, it gives uh, more importance to important rooms. Uh, but this map is entirely symmetrical, apart from the placement of the enemies, and uh, that can make it somewhat predictable, I say, as I confidently go in the wrong direction. Is this going to be the end? Not quite. That's going to be the end. Looks like there's a door there, but how do I get to it? Don't know. I, I've got the only secret in this map, so which suggests that that's just flavour, but I don't think it is. No, it is! Oh, there we go. Alright, stop cheating. Alright. So that was an okay base map. I would definitely try to vary the sides a bit more uh, to make it less easy to get lost in, to make it less predictable. Waste tunnels. I do like the continuous uh, way of the maps. Uh, okay, so make sure you map. You make sure you actually mark your blue and red key doors. Make sure that the player has a landmark to come back to, as well as just reduce confusion. 
Because you'll be hunting around for the blue door now. Thinking, why can't I remember where the blue door was? It might not be this door, because uh, obviously it's opened up already. Alright. Done. And look at this! Uh, more, uh, you know, more decoration. You've got uh, the pipes, you've got uh, all of this stuff. Look at that! This is interesting use of sectors. Being very generous with that pickup a bit. I would uh, expect to find that in a secret or, or have to work a bit for that uh, through some enemies. Okay. Am I going to go outside? Not yet. You see, this is good. You see this, this big open area? And you've got cover. You've got somewhere to dodge the... Uh, the vast amount of flames coming towards you. So you're not just a sitting duck. All right. Yeah, I, I like I like these a lot. These computery uh, pillar things. Again, the map's a bit symmetrical, but it doesn't really need to be. Sorry, I'm, admi I'm admiring the map too much. Get lost, will you? All right, so I can get outside now. But in doing so, I have forfeited my cover. I've fixed that uh, imp jumpy bitey attack now in uh, BD Light 1.2 as well. Because before, what the imp would do is it would uh, jump at you and then it would fire... It would fire an invisible projectile in the direction of you, no matter where you were. So even if it was jumping in 180 degrees the opposite direction, it would still be able to hurt you. Uh, and I'm not sure if I broke that or if it was uh, something that was broken originally. Oh, what? Why did, why did that switch close a wall instead of open it? Uh, another soul sphere. You're really putting these on thick. At this rate, I'll be able to break the bar barrier and release the monsters from the underground. Uh, so, again, this switch, I don't know why it didn't switch. But it didn't. Rocket launcher, another door. Huh. Oh, just an alternative way out. Now what's what's that there? The long thin thing. Let me just duck to see there down there. Oh, it's a Whoa, okay. It's it's a... I wonder why. Is it a shootable switch, maybe? No, not... That's uh, just a weird thing. Okay. Intrigued by uh, the purpose of that. Okay. We've got most of the monsters. We've got nearly all the secrets. Well, <laughs> nearly all the secrets. I've got no, none of the secrets. What am I talking about? Um... Oh, did I miss this? I suppose I, I just couldn't pick it up because I was full of uh, shells. Hang on a minute. Oh, sorry, yeah. Okay, I was I was just confused. I, I thought that uh, I, I'd made some dreadful error where the shotgun didn't use any ammunition, but uh, it's just in this HUD, the ammunition you've got loaded into the shotgun is on the left, and you only use ammunition when you load ammunition back into it on the right. Um, okay, I hope that made sense. This was a weird thing where it closed when I pushed the switch. Maybe it's just to... 
Is it to fool you, thinking this switch obviously opens this door? And then, yeah, that's that's interesting, actually. Most people aren't fans of uh, secrets you can miss, but, but, you know, it's an interesting thing. The Crusher. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm reading these map titles out, by the way, because they're, they're, they're just the original Doom 2 ones, and they might not be relevant. Um, okay, what do I do with this? Let's use the plasma gun. Let's use the BFG. Wow, I noticed that just in time, and by co complete coincidence, I was under uh, a safe zone. Alright. That's the next one. Okay. I suppose um, <laughs> the title of the Crusher was quite apt after all. Very plain looking corridor here. But, you know, then again, in the iWods, a lot of the corridors are very plain. Oh, now, was that meant to be a yellow door and it isn't? Or was it just decorated that way when it shouldn't have been? I don't know. But I suppose I'll, I'll. I don't see the opportunity to get a yellow key here. I can have another quick look after quick saving. One, two, three, uh... Nope, there isn't one. Okay. So yeah, I think that door is decorated with the yellow keyboard when it shouldn't be. Uh, which is going to be really confusing to players if you leave that in. Wow! Interesting surprise trap here. Ow, 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 I'm ahead, I'm ahead, I'm ahead, I'm ahead. Right. So, uh, that's not the way to do it. Now let's show you the real way. <laughs> there was a big crush of room in Sigil as well, and, uh, people said it was far too difficult, but I didn't know what they were talking about until I tried playing it with Free Luke off. And Free Luke really, really makes things... Uh, not having free loop makes things a lot more difficult for crushers. Alright. Whoa! What, what happened there? That was brilliant! Now I know why the corridor was so plain. That was an excellent reveal. Okay. Um... I kind of did that a lot worse than I could have, but still. Yeah, you could. Uh, you've got monsters uh, on ledges off to the sides. You've got uh, some Z-axis stuff going on. You know, different. Um, different threats coming from different levels. I'm just seeing this improve and improve as it goes on. It, it, it's a wonderful experience. <laughs> okay, so... So what now? Do I just strafe run over to the soul sphere, or...? No, I'm, I'm actually on the other side. I'm on the other side. I lost my sense of direction. That's a secret. Can I get it from here? I might be able to strafe run to it, but I don't know if that was uh, what was intended. Uh, if I were any good at strafe running, I might be able to strafe run over... No, I don't think I can. Somebody might be able to strafe run over it, but that strafe runner will not be me. Okay. If you want to keep a player in a room, by the way, one of John Romero's uh, favourite tricks seems to be um, making them stand on a lift that lowers into the room and they can't get back up. And that, uh, 
That makes them not uh, hover at the door like an irritating passenger waiting to get on their flight when they're in boarding group C. Um, I've just come back from holidays. That, that, that thing's on, that's on the top of my mind just now. This almost looks like a room from Hexen 2. Uh, just with the raggedy platform over the lava. And yeah, you've provided a way for the, for the player to escape if they fall in now. Uh, because that wasn't on map 01. And uh, you don't have to uh, provide players a way of escape. Some people think that, well, if a player jumps into lava, it's their own fault. Uh, I, I like uh, providing the player a way to escape. Okay. Yellow door. Yellow door. That was there. And straight into the red key. Um, we seem to be descending quite a distance. Into tech base in the bowels of the earth. Is that a switch? Yeah, that, don't use that as a switch. Use the switch texture as a switch. That's why it's a switch texture. Although, yeah, I, actually, I see what you were going for. Maybe he's uh, having to rewire all the panels or something to get the door open. Whoa, 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 okay. Genuine, genuine surprise. Oh, Jesus Christ! God, uh, the... The ouch face still terrifies me. I don't know what it is about it, but I, I, I am mortally terrified of it appearing. I don't even know where I have the status bar on. Get, get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> no, it's fair enough. Um, that was a good surprise. You get, you're really getting into traps. And then going to acknowledge my being utterly caught by it by keeping my 37% health for the next map. Uh, there was absolutely no need for the red key, by the way. Uh, you could have left it out of the map and it would have been fine. Um, alternatively, you could put a little uh, extra route in to get the red key before you come back to this uh, lift shaft. These are very long lifts. Uh, if you want to put long lifts in, you could give the player something to do. You could teleport some monsters in as it's going up. Okay, dead simple. Is this going to be uh, is this going to be a boss map? We shall see. Doesn't look like it's a boss map, but uh, something definitely happened. Something crushed the barrel, I think. Ah, oh, that's that's my fault, by the way. If a decal uh, that sits on the ceiling, and the ceiling moves, then the decal just stays there. Um, I could possibly fix it, but it's beyond my uh, expertise at the moment. Nice uh, provision of barrels. You, you like their crushes, don't you? Oh, have I dropped all these platforms now? That room's not like that uh, game where you have to visit all the houses in the correct order. Oh, okay, and you get a claw to the face. <laughs> okay, not my best moment. Could I saunter down here? Ah, interesting. It's a little secret. Just a couple of shells for your trouble. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, the, this is getting bolder now, the level design. It's, you know, you've got more angles. It's more... It's a, it's a bit more towards the kind of design we saw in Map 01 itself, which was built onto the existing Map 01. And you had that as a queue. 
Okay, take that. Excellent. Now this is an interesting room because I think it's all optional and it just gives you some shortcuts. And uh, optional areas is a big part of uh, what makes Doom quite special, being very exploratory. Firefighter, we can not hit him. That's uh, why the rifle's still useful in BD Light. Uh, the rifle fires with perfect aim. Whereas I don't think I don't think even the chain gun uh, fires with perfect aim. Uh, I don't think it even fires on its first shot like in Vanilla Doom. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Oh, that was a sneaky maneuver that I did. That was totally pointless. Quite Romero like as well, the window with the shotgunners. And you can see that the horizontal auto aim is taking uh, hold a bit here. Maybe I should make the super shotgun a bit more powerful in BD Light, actually, because it's, um... One of the things I actually like about it is that it, the super shotgun is now no longer obviously the best weapon for all situations. And I know that's not quite true, but in Vanilla Doom, you use the super shotgun an awful lot. Uh, here, it's, uh... And this, this was something from Brutal Doom, uh, 1.9 or whatever it was uh, when, I, when I branched this off. Um... The super shotgun's a lot slower to reload, and it's much more ponderous, and you need to be uh, much more... Uh, you need to, need to be much better at making your shots count. Uh, how do I get out of here? Because <laughs> I can't uh, go back the way I came. That's not a teleporter. Ah! Yeah, you want, you want players to be able to... You want players to be able to see the way to go with that. It, it wasn't a terribly hard secret to find, but you, you, I think you want to make that a door or something, so that players just have no question as to where to go next. Yeah, more, you know, more examples of more enemies coming out to surprise you. Areas you think you've uh, visited. There's an interesting room here. With the fish are in the ceiling. It's a bit plain around the walls. What you can do with big walls like this is you can use uh, support 2 or support 3 textures and just put a band there and then start using another texture like the big computer wall and then put a band there. And it breaks up the wall a bit, put some beams that go in and out a bit. This level is actually um, starting to rise the challenge level as well. Uh, I'm not. I'm no longer at 200% health all the time. Hmm. What's doing there? Do you think? That's good. And is this just uh, the way that I came? Oh no. Okay. This gives me access to the bottom of. Well, I suppose it doesn't give me access to the bottom. The, this passage gives me access to here, which lets me get out of the lab. Hmm. Where have I not gone? This looks uh, quite new. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I, I love again when uh, maps filled back in on themselves. I couldn't reach this area before, but by getting some pea keys, getting some peas, uh, and some carrots and broccoli. I can uh, go round this corridor and get to what I think is the exit. And uh, oh yeah, that's that's a quite a nice loop. It just brings you all the way back. Oh oh, hang on, what's going on here? Okay. <laughs> 
We're still going! Um, how many maps are in this? I don't think I can tell because uh, the map names haven't been changed. We'll just keep going. Aha! I, I would have counted that as a secret myself, but I suppose I'm just opening a crate. <laughs> Yeah, these decorations again. And the fire blue. That, that's a good use of fire blue. This map's a bit uh, orthogonal again. Well, it's getting more interesting around here, though. There's not a lot of uh, floor and ceiling variation, a lot of 90 degree corners. Nice cache of radiation seats. Seats. Go to bed, David. Um, nice cache of radiation suits there, uh, which I'll use as soon as I need them. Oh, something I haven't been using is uh, grenades. Uh, you pick those up uh, when you get a backpack in BD Light, and um, they destroy the balance utterly. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to use them for this playthrough. It's, uh, it's interesting because Doom does not otherwise have a weapon where you don't need to have a direct line of sight. There's nothing like that. Even the rocket launcher, you need to peek your head round the corner and uh, you need to be in the line of sight briefly. BFG, if it were implemented sanely, uh, you wouldn't need to be in line of sight, but because the uh, tracers come from yourself rather than the ball or anything, uh, you you need to maintain line of sight to use it, which is a, a, an incredible way to do it. I I, I do I always wonder about the BFG because it's so strange. I wonder if its uh, if its properties are a bug, or if uh, that was how it was meant to work all along. Because it is a, it, it makes it a really unique weapon, and you really need to know how to use it. And it's got a lot of uh, it's it's got a lot of nuance to it. Oh, this is well defi- Oh, there's a cyber demon! I suppose I'll take this. And I'll be on my way. I'm just not gonna provoke him. Oh! Now this blood isn't harmful. Uh, which, don't misunderstand me, is a very good thing for me. But... It's, uh, it's 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 inconsistent. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, oh, sorry. I've got a bio suit on. What am I saying? That's my fault. Do forgive me. I'm just um, I'm I'm just wandering around here, observing the carnage. Really. Let's start getting some BFGs out. I forgot the ball can hurt you! I forgot. Alright, here we go. Can he not hear me? Oh, he can't hear me. Right. Well, I, th I thought I'd surely just died then. Ah, 
That was a thrilling battle. Clean them up. Oh, but there's still barons up there. I wonder what this would have been like with vanilla weapons, which I really should have tried it with first. Um... Uh. Now, why does that lower? What what line trigger did I go over? Yeah, well, it didn't happen again. <laughs> Let's uh, use some rockets here. Oh, come on! Come on! Right, that's that's all of them. Okay, now I can concentrate on um, setting my gamma correction. No, quick saving. And uh, is that? No, it's not a different texture there. What was the what was the trigger? That was the. Hmm. And it doesn't let me back in. What's going to let me back in? Uh, oh, was, was this something? No. Let's look over in the editor again. Uh, let's uh, open window capture again. Right, uh, okay, so this is map of 1, we have map current ward, map of 8, uh, okay, so from, from this we can see this is the final map, which I, I kind of got that impression <laughs> from the, this big arena out here. So that, this is tag 8, um, and all of this is uh, damage, damage, these, for some reason, lower this, that? That island opens the door, but uh, you can see here. Look, look at this—the the, uh, the tower off in the distance. That's got that's got some nice detailing on it as well. Yeah, th this is a uh, this map's really this map set's really become more ambitious as it goes, and I, I love seeing that how people you know they start off really simple and then they evolve. Um, okay, so it looks like. It looks like I have to stand on two inconspicuous seeming islands. That one, and then that one, to get back into the base. And that's going to give me a Megasphere, thank you. And an Invulnerability, and all kinds of goodies, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, one of the other things that... Uh, oh yeah, I didn't really need that. Uh, one of the other things that uh, BD Light does is that it makes the invulnerability palette digestible. <laughs> oh god, I, I, my, uh, my, my whole rhythm's off, hang on.
I've been here before, though, haven't I? I, I like these crates that you uh, you can just open, and they're wooden inside. That's that's quite nice. Something unique. Um. Now, um, how do I actually end the level? Was the <laughs> was the thing that I was complaining about being uh, difficult to see actually a secret? It was not. These? Oh, you have to shoot this? You have to shoot this to open the level, right? Um. The way forward's less obvious than the actual secret. Right, there we go. And that's the end! And the pit, well, it'll be plain uh, vanilla Doom 2. Okay, so, um, in summary, I, I loved seeing how uh, Jantam evolved in, in, in the mapping as, as, as the WOD went on. Uh, I do think that throughout, you really need to pay more attention to player cues. Uh, doors should look like doors, switches should look like switches, um, and if they don't, then make it really obvious to the player by just trapping them in a space until they work out your new mechanic, and uh, and don't give them ambiguity in that way. But yeah, otherwise, really great start. I, I think that uh, as you continue this, if you continue, make another episode, uh, you're just going to take that experience and you're going to make more and more interesting things, so uh, thank you very much for making that. Uh, and I've spent an hour on it. So, <laughs> so it's time for me to go to bed. I'll see you soon.